What is good, my YouTube family? Welcome back if you're returning. If you are just checking this page out for the first time, go ahead and be a sweetheart and click that subscribe button so you can get all this information whenever you need it. So today I'm gonna to help you adjust some of your settings in your Kodi. Your Kodi is the program that is used to run your digs build, which is how you watch your free movies, your free live TV, uh, your free pay-per-view sport events, all that good stuff. We're going to go into the settings and we're going to show you how to adjust a few things so that way it helps out with lag issues, it helps out with kickout issues, and it's going to help with buffering issues. Stay tuned. All right, my people, so welcome. So we're gonna get right to it. So the first thing you wanna do is, this is what's gonna happen before you put your, your digs build or any kind of build, whether you're using a no limits build, a digs build, doesn't matter, okay? So you wanna do this beforehand. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna go up here to your main system settings where it looks like the little wheel. Okay, we're gonna click on that. First thing you wanna do is come over here to systems, okay? We're gonna work our way down the list to add-ons. You're gonna click over to the right. So we wanna turn both of these on. We wanna turn on our notifications and we wanna turn on unknown sources. The unknown sources is the most important because this is gonna allow third-party apps, which is what your basic uh, builds are that you get all your free movies, TV shows, live sports and all that stuff. It's basically how you get all that stuff. So that needs to be turned on. Okay. So that's like the most important thing. So once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and back out one time. We're going to come over here to where it says player. Okay. And we're going to do a few different things in here. So you're on video. You want to make sure at first when you're on these things to make sure you're on expert. If you're not sure you're on the expert mode, just keep clicking it until you see expert and then you know you're there. So we're going to come over here to videos and there's a few different things. So this really has nothing to do with like saving you from buffering and, and kickouts and stuff, but this is just a pretty convenient thing. So the play next video automatically, you can pick which ones you want to do. I usually do episodes so that way when I'm watching TV shows, it'll find the next episode, but it won't start it automatically. It'll just automatically shoot you to a link. So that way you don't have to go back and look for it. It'll just shoot you over. So then you just pick the same kind of link that you already watched the previous episode on and you're good to go. So that's just a little side note. So what you want to come to next is you want to come to sync playback to display. Okay, we want to turn that on. We want to make sure that the, that the playback sound is synced up with our picture that we're seeing on the screen. Next thing you want to do is you want to scroll down a little bit here where it says enable HQ scalers for scrolling above. 20% is pretty high. You can bring that down to zero. This is especially important when you're working with fire sticks or anything below that. Um, it just helps with the buffering issues and stuff like that. So you want to keep working your way down. And the playback mode for stereoscopic 3D videos, you always want to make sure it's on Ask Me. Uh, keep on scrolling down and we're good on that. So you want to come back down. You want to hit to the left. We're going to come back to this menu on the side. And we're going to come all the way down to languages. Okay. You want to come over here. Click to the right. Hit preferred audio language. Okay. We're going to click on that. We want to go to original language. So we're going to keep it just like that. Pay no attention to that bullshit. So we're going to go to a original language. All right. And now we're done. So we're going to back out of there. And we're going to back out of there. So now we're going to do some things that kind of help with like the live TV stuff. So like helps with the buffering or helps with the connection and all that other good stuff. Okay. So we're going to come back down here to add-ons. Okay. We're going to click on add-ons. We're going to come up here to where this little box looks like. It's a little like packaging box. We're going to click on that. So you're going to click on where it says my add-ons. Very first one on the list. We're going to click on that. Okay. Now you want to see where it says all you should be looking for something that says video player input. If you do not see it on this list, what you need to do is you need to back out once, back out twice. Come over here to where it says download. Okay, you'll see it right there to the right. Click to the right. Come over here, video player input stream. Click on that. We need to enable both of these. So enable stream um, adaptive. We want to click on that and we want to install it. Okay, we want to come back down to the RTMP input. Click on that. We want to install it. Both of those things are ready to go. You'll see a check mark when they're both done. 
install there you go you got to make sure you click that button boom you got two check marks you're good to go all right and that's it really that's all you really got to do to kind of tweak your settings a little bit to help with your buffering maybe to help with some kick out this may not be a fix all to everything, but this will definitely help when it comes to using data. Like I said, when it comes to uh, streaming certain videos, you will definitely see a difference. Hope this helped out. So for those of you wondering what the fuck is he talking about when he's talking about Cody, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. And I'm going to leave a link to the video of that I did of how to install Cody on your Android devices or on your um, your Windows devices. I'm also going to leave a link for how to set up your Fire Stick settings. The Fire Stick settings video is going to show you how to minimize the usage of data. So that way it helps out with buffering and streaming a little bit. So that way your Fire Stick's not trying to do a bunch of work at one time and it'll give you a better entertainment experience with it.